Hello there, Ray here, and today I will be showing you my simple dragon egg generator. This dragon egg generator is capable of producing up to 45,000 dragon eggs per hour, and it works very similar to the sand generator which I showed last week. So first we have the dragon eggs sitting on top of the slime block here, then we lower the slime block allowing the dragon eggs to fall since they are falling blocks, and they will start to fall. Then the slime blocks will push up, sending the dragon eggs up into the air, and then this slime block over here will push the dragon eggs over this direction, and then we have one more slime block pusher which will send them back over into the original position. And if we push F3B we can see that they are entities and as they are moving through the air they are easily pushed by the slime blocks. And when they come into here they are able to be duplicated by being partly inside of the end portal as well as being placed on top of the slime block here. The redstone for this dragon egg generator is very simple as well. We just have a clock up here which is causing a pulse and this pulse First comes to this piston here, then there's a delay, then it comes to this piston, then there's a delay and then it's inverted and then it comes down to this piston. You can see it operates at a fairly quick speed as well. So if you want to turn this dragon egg generator off, you can just remove this torch here. And this way the dragon egg will stop and the dragon eggs will be set on top of this piston here. And once you want to start up, you just replace that, short, that torch and it will start back up again. There is some leaves up here just to prevent the dragon eggs from flying straight up. And this way it allows the dragon eggs to go up and then enough time for this piston to push them over, otherwise they would just fly straight up into the air. So this generator also works for anvils too, except anvils do occasionally take damage when they fall. You can hear the anvil, how it's hitting. So it's actually taking damage, so over time the anvil will actually take damage and eventually break, but this is actually generating anvils as well. So if you want to generate anvils, you can, but just not as infinite as if you use it on dragon eggs. If you want to know how to set this up or operate this in your survival world or in your SMP world, then I will link to my previous video about my sand generator over there where I explain everything so that you know how to operate this one because it works very similar to this one. So I also made a design so that you can operate the sand generator from both sides using the singular clock in the center here. And you can see that we can't operate actually from all four sides just because of the slime block here is being used for this side and it would attach if you're using this side as well. And I also made a design for your exit end portal in the end dimension. And this one allows you to use uh, 10 portals so you can generate 10 dragon eggs at one time. This would give you the maximum amount of speed with this device here. The world download for this world is in the description if you would like to build this. But other than that, if you found this interesting, show me a like. If you'd like to see other small neat contraptions like this, subscribe and don't forget to comment. Bye bye!